Hi, I'm Michael Cunliffe and I'm the Artistic Coordinator from North Tyneside Art Studio. Uh, we're a studio, oddly enough, in North Tyneside that helps people who are experiencing mental health issues to use art to uh, improve their lives and improve their mental health. We're down here in, uh, in Wall's End in this beautiful park uh, for Mental Health Awareness Week. And what we're trying to do this week is really help people to, to get out into nature and really um, experience and enjoy everything that there is to, to offer. So we use art, as I say, to help people uh, with their mental health. And being out in nature just gives you a whole extra experience. Look around you, I mean the parks across the county are absolutely fantastic, but even in your, your local neighbourhood there are patches of grass, there are beautiful trees, there's always something to go out and draw. My name's Louise McGlenn and I'm a freelance artist commissioned through North Tyneside Art Studio to run drawing sessions. Um, the drawing sessions at North Tyneside Art Studio are very much about confidence building, raising awareness, using drawing really to take your mind off other things. All right, well today we're, we're doing some outdoor drawing to get into nature again and it's um, quite an important thing that people get back into nature after the lockdown. Because we've all been mostly sitting inside, I mean you do go out for a walk but we've tended to keep moving around and not really looking at nature. I think it's important to look at nature and listen to the birds. Well, apart from obvious, the obvious things like just being with other people, doing things that you enjoy and um, interacting with people, um, getting support from other people, um, learning new skills. Um, there's no end to the benefits of um, attending places like North Tyneside Art Studio. Yeah. All I could say is that I really appreciate that it exists and that um, it's a place where you can get support for um, yeah, to improve your mental health and just develop artistic skills as well. Yeah. I see people growing in confidence both as an artist and a person all the time. We often have people who barely talk when they first come to a session. But over time, by getting to know people, um, sometimes when you see a session we might all be quiet at the beginning. But gradually people will start to talk, start to look at each other's work and share experiences and talk about how their week's been. And it's sort of drawing together somehow brings you together in a different way. You're not there to discuss your mental health. You're there really to improve as an artist and just use art as a, as a tool really to forget about other things. So anyone who's interested um, in finding out more about what we do, please head on over to our website at northtynesideartstudio.org.uk. You'll find a great film uh, made by our members about what art does for them, and it'll also give you all the details you need on how to join the studio. You can also head over to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash northtynesideartstudio, where you'll find over 40 hours of uh, free online videos about how to use art to um, explore your mental health. If you think that art can help you with your mental health, then book an appointment with your GP or mental health practitioner and let them know that you'd like to be referred to the studio. They can go to northtynesideartstudio.org.uk and fill out all the necessary forms online.